Today in Demon of the Week, we are looking at the 55th Spiritual of the Grisha, Ouroboros, one of my favourites. Welcome to my channel. You are entering the world of magic and mysticism with your host, Lee W. Johnson. Keep the lights on and help improve the channel by becoming a supporter for just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button. Okay, Ouroboros. This is actually a spirit I worked with a long time ago. Um, always kind of hung around. We haven't really, we haven't really done any workings uh, in the past several years, but um, I've always liked Ouroboros. Um, all right. So let's get a look into Ouroboros. There's a lot from Jehannam on Ouroboros, so I'm um, going to go through all of that. Okay, the correspondence says, Date, September 23rd to October 2nd, direction north or west, tarot, the two of swords, planet is Jupiter, metal, tin, element, water, color, blue, plant is broom, incense, cedar, Zodiac 1 to 10 degrees Libra and other correspondences are white sandalwood, cinnamon, uh, white devil's claw and high john root. Uh, the N is Jedan, Tasa, Hoet, Naka, Orobas. So the Goesha uh, says appearing at first like a horse but after the command of the exorcist he putteth on the image of a man. Um, actually, if you look at the thumb uh, for this video, uh, that's actually a drawing I did a long, long time ago when I worked with all of us. Um, so I made him half half man, half horse. Um, his office is to discover all things past, present and to come. Also to give dignities and prelaces and the favour of friends and foes. He giveth true answers of divinity and of the creation of the world. He is very faithful unto the exorcist and will not suffer him to be tempted of any spirits. Uh, Connolly says, excellent to invoke for bindings and changing people's opinions. Demon of wisdom, his energy is very, very calming. I, I totally agree with that. Uh, reminded her of a tamer version of Leviathan. I am actually, I can see that. Although Leviathan, Leviathan I find to be very um, calming, very gentle, um, kind of like the, the old teacher. But, yeah, I kind of understand it because, uh, you know, if, if you do piss Leviathan off, the sea beast does come out. Um, and Ouroboros, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I agree with that. I can definitely see that. Um, <clears throat> Johannem, uh, wait, let me go to Moto Wake first. Um See, this is where things get interesting. Uh, Wake says, impatient with new practitioners can induce a feeling of anxiety or doom. Uh, one practitioner she knows called him Doom Horse. And also, Jahannam, if I remember correctly, uh, says, oh yes, um, so Oribus told, told Jahannam, um, he can be hard to work with at times and not always patient with beginners. Uh, people probably shouldn't work with him unless they have a decent level of, of experience under their belts. But he is loving, caring, nurturing and generous with certain people. So I've always understood Aurobas as being one of those spirits that is very good for beginners to work with. Um, and I found him very, very good to, to work As I said, this is many years ago, so I wouldn't say I was a beginner, I definitely wasn't a beginner in magic, um, but um, it was kind of at the beginning of my, um, I'm going to say ceremonial magic, evocation work, uh, you know, that type of thing, because back in the day, you know, that's how we did things, although I didn't really agree with it, so I took a different approach at that time as well. Um, the whole binding and you know the Solomonic magic type thing just never fit with me at all um, but yeah I, I found I personally found him to be very good very very calm very um, understanding 
um, very gentle, um, and as I said, I've, I've always always heard of and thought of Oribus as being good for beginners, but you may want to just approach it with caution, as you should with, with any magic, with any spirits, just approach them with caution. Um, just make sure that they they want to work with you. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're they're the nicest guy in guy in in the demonic corner. They may not want want to work with you for various reasons. So you know, always approach spirits with respect and uh, caution as you first introduce your, introduce yourself to them. Um, Johannem says, "Son of Malok, one of the Gogo." Gorgophios' uh, consorts, a sibling of Adramalek, a close friend of Satan, an emissary of Hecate, a spirit of Satariel, and a Goeshic prince. Uh, he is a warrior, an initiator, a destroyer, and a harbinger of transformation. Uh, okay, I read that bit just now. Um, as I said, there's quite a bit here from Johannem. Can make you more powerful, bring focus to true purpose, uh, give auspices in writing and artistic pursuits, including music, great protector and healer, capable of devouring the energy bodies of enemies. I like that one. Um, worked with for combat skills, physical fitness, discipline, and warriorhood. Uh, can impart determination, courage, strength of will, concentration and writing skills, knowledgeable about physical fitness, nutrition, martial arts, the science of physical pain, the dilemma of trans people and the human psyche. Um, can fortify the astral double and gives auspices in meditation and kundalini work. Uh, learn spellcraft. Um, planetary magic, elemental magic, and many different meditative techniques. So, very, very, very good, useful spirit. Um, great spirit to have a relationship, I think. The Goesha ritual goes into the symbol symbolism of the horse, obviously, um, an ambivalent symbol for both life and death, as it is representative of solar power when white, golden, or fiery, but Luna as the humid element when associated with the sea and chaos. Also symbolizes intellect and wisdom, which is counterbalanced against an instinctual drive. Okay, so that's Oribas. I would definitely recommend Oribas. Oribas, I love. Love Oribas. Okay, so I'll see you next week for the next Spirit of the Guesha. Have a good one. Till then. Bye-bye.